In this tip of the day, let's take a look at rough machining flat areas using one CNC. This is very simple and straightforward. Now in this example, we have a solid model and we have three flat areas designated by these three green faces. All right, let's head over to the command manager. Let's go into our model tool paths and select Z level rough. Now for this machining operations, we're going to be using a 5 8 diameter bullet mill. And for the tip radius, I've got a 16th of an inch. Our speeds and feeds look fine, so I'll click next on that. Our clearances look great, I'll click next on that. We're going to be using a traditional style machining for this. That all looks very good, we'll click next. Now for each depth of cut, I'm going to ramp in at 3 degrees. We're going to spiral inwards and climb cut. All this looks very good. For depth of cut, I'm going to increase that to 250 thousandths, and we're going to leave 20 thousandths on the actual solid model. We'll click next on that. Now for right now, I'm going to ignore find flat areas. And what that means is that one CNC is going to strictly use this depth of cut, which is 250 thousandths. So next, we're going to ignore find flat areas. We'll click next on that. Everything looks great here for our bounding box. Let's click finish and let one CNC generate the toolpath. Let's quickly head over to simulate. I'm going to right hand mouse click and go into simulate rest. Pick a boundary. I'm going to use that for our stock just by left clicking those edges at the bottom there. So here we go. We're taking 250 thousandths depth of cut for this roughing operation. Now let's take this into compare mode. I'm going to head over here to go to compare. And what this does is this gives us the opportunity to compare the actual part, the actual solid model, with the toolpath. I'm going to change the compare algorithm from front to side. And let's zoom in just a little bit. All right, so this white outline, this defines the actual shape or cross section of our part. And then up here, you can see the actual material that's left over. Now, as I move through this compare, you can see that this flat area was not machined. And as I push this even more, you can see that this flat area was not machined as well. And that's because we stuck to that 250 thousandths depth of cut. Let's go back in here and quickly edit this. I'm going to right hand mouse click. Let's go into our edit operation. That looks good. And let's quickly push through these dialog boxes here. And this time we're going to activate find flat areas. We'll click next on that. I'm going to leave everything the same. Click finish and let one CNC generate the toolpath. What's happened now is one CNC has made those extra depths of cut to ensure that those flat areas have been rough machined. We can prove that by going back into simulate now. Pick a boundary. Let's grab those bottom edges. And so here we go. Here's our roughing operation. Again, we're using 250 thousandths depth of cut, but we're also adding an extra cut to make sure that we machine those flat areas. So if we go back into our compare, let's left click that. Let's change the algorithm to side compare. That looks good. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Let's bring this over. We'll pan over. Rotate just a little bit. And as we push through the compare, notice how the remaining stock proves that we've machined those flat areas. In fact, let's push all the way through this. And there we go. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.